Father, we thank you. Jehovah God, my Father, may you use me as a vessel to inspire these powerful women. King of all kings, use my lips, Jehovah. To inspire, to encourage, to motivate, to change lives. I give you honor, we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray and trust. Good morning. Buana asifiwe. Wow. I love the faces I see. I like the faces that I see. And uh, Pastor Jean, I value you. I follow you wherever you go. We were in Thika Sitam. Sitam Thika with the women there. And the testimonies have been received. And I thank God. My name is George Washiri. I work with the Optive and Real Estate. And uh, I came with some people. And I would like them to come here just to say hi. Because uh, a leader does not travel alone. You carry other leaders. We say that the role of a leader is not to develop followers, but to develop other leaders. And uh, that's what we do at uh, Optiven, and I'm so happy to be here at SITAM. They, they don't need to take a mic. They have a big voice. They will just say hi, their names, and then we'll start from here. Chris. Well, wow, thank you, Chris Jiao. That's one of the senior managers, and uh, his job is to, uh, to make sure that every Kenyan person are na nyumba. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord, lovely ladies. Amen. Let's wave at each other. Praise the Lord. Amen. You all look beautiful from up here. Mm. Turn to your neighbor and tell mm. them, sister, you look wonderful. You look wonderful. Okay, my name is Sophie Puliro. At Optiven Limited, we are in the business of selling value at the floor. And we're here, we are honored you've invited us, and we are hoping to learn so much from you. Asante Nisana. Wow, thank you, Sophie Bolido. Very energetic. Asante Sana. Wow, thank you, Edward Kasangi, to appear my coffee. Thank you very much, guys. Asante sana. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, today, uh, Pastor, I don't know how many minutes I have. So, Kasangi, manage my time, isn't it? 40 minutes, one hour, two hours, three hours? <laughs> one, hour. one hour. Okay, fantastic. So, Kasangi, manage the time. And I really love the topic. Hey, never say die. You know, we have been scared by this COVID thing. I was checking statistics from my Kenya Private Sector Alliance, and I discovered COVID is number 48 killer in the world. It's not even number one, not even number two, not even number three, number 48, even here in Kenya. In a day, we lose about 7,000 people in a day. But since this thing has been glorified more than Jesus, you know, just one person dies in my village, the entire country knows. So let's not be so scared. You know, I was talking to a friend at a, a kid at show, and a sudden time in Bakas, kill a kid. Nay, I copy a guanyumba. Namuriza, he kid, does it fly? It has no wings. <laughs> hey, hey, man, I think Lazima, too. We have to learn to live with this thing. Yeah. We sanitize, social distance, like what I see here. We are mask. I like the, the protocol in, in the system, Woodley. Hey, yani Mike in a kuwa sanitized. Baka in a jua, kuna kinator sanitization. Let me tell you, if we do this to seed, we, we make sure they're not sinning. All of us go to heaven. Aish, Jameni. Hey, he to me to Korea. Lakini to make a Never say die. Yeah. I, I, have, I have my friend in the US who got COVID. And he was in the hospital, ICU. But he was doing FB Live saying, me, hey, me, me, I'm not dying. I'll die at 100. The guy got well, and he's good, he's doing his business. So we must confess, never say die. And for us, we are talking about business. We are talking about financial stuff. 
How many of us out there, those who are watching us, they are already dead because financially they are dead. But today we are going to speak how we can come up again financially. Because our God has given us capacity. Our God has given us ability. And this capacity and ability enables us to go to the next level. I love the theme. You know, destined for the next level. And by the way, these things you have to call it. You have to name it. You have to do it yourself. I remember one time I was starting business. Hopefully you are now 21 years old. But the first 10 years we are not making any money. We, have, we were financially dead. I remember one year, the whole year, we, make, we made only 200000 It will pay taxes. It will fuel the car. It was everything. And life was tough. But even that tough times, you are saying, one day we shall be able to offer opportunities to other people. Today we say, our goal by 2030, we must, operate, we must offer 30,000 jobs by the year 2030. The power of a vision. We also say we must build and create 300,000 houses by the year 2030. So every time you come to buy a property, a manage, Victory Gardens, Happy Gardens in Kitengela, we say the figure of 300,000 is dropping. So when with that particular vision, you are dropping, you are achieving. There are many of us here who are doing smaller businesses. Opt even we started very small. I don't know where you, whether you know, I used to be to hawk beauty products. Yeah. I was man manufacturing the products in Ghana, and I was hawking these products in every salon along Munagokubwa, Pangani, that area. And people knew, George, I'm a good hapa. I'm a letter shampoo. But then me, I can make shampoo easily. I can make conditioner. And I did it for two years. But even that time we were saying, one day, hey, EQ2, we shall manufacture. You have to call it. And some of us, we have massive potential great ideas, but they remain ideas. Because it doesn't matter. If you don't act on it, hey, my friend, even if an idea of manufacturing planes, it will remain an idea. And today you see Optiven is an idea that has developed. The same with your ventures. And we'll discuss with you how you can make these ventures big ventures. The other day I went to China and I was shocked some years back how these Chinese work. Mumiona Vito Anafanya, the express superhighway. Have you seen it? A whole engineer and a car was sight. Sisi Mukenya, a Kiwa engineer and a car loving Tony. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where Barabra in a car 10 years. These two fellows with small eyes, but big thoughts, thinking big. These two fellows at night, you know, 3 a.m., they are putting those big things. They want to check a barabara. How many of us we waste our time just sleeping? Mutu and Amukas are tattoo. And I said, hey, thank you, Jesus. I am born again. My friend, Chinese are kopale. An agenda. A road that was supposed to take only three years is taking one and a half years. Amen. Can you imagine? The power of thinking big and working hard and working smart. Amen. Most of us, we are running smaller businesses, but they are small because we made the businesses small. Right from how we think. And today, I will share with you the secrets of what you are doing at Optivate. And they say success can be replicated. Success can be copied. You can copy success. I am telling you. You know, the other day I was checking this guy called Joe Biden. I love this guy. And this guy discovered I may not be a good speaker. But there's a guy who was very successful called Barack Obama. Why can I, can I entice him just to come and speak to the people in Philadelphia? Wait, the guy came. The mathematics changed. That speech was trending in the U.S. Today, Joe Biden is the president. Amen. Do you have such networks of Barack Obama that you can tap on those networks, we call, we call it connection, that can really change your business? I was so happy with this kid here. 
Yaani msichana ako kwa Facebook, anauza. Wengine nasema hakuna kazi. Wewe George bwana, nipe kazi, nimesikia muna create 30,000 jobs. And the guy has got a smartphone, a Facebook with nothing. Yet we have seen a lady here. Ako she is in class, ako Facebook na ako na shop kwa Facebook. Because the business have moved online. That's a spirit that we are speaking this particular morning. Never say die. For us to step to the next level, new possibilities. For us to be destined for the next level. Hey, I like this verse. Hey, Pastor, you shared with me. Isaiah 43, 19. I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. This verse is saying that opportunities are here with us. Let me tell you a secret. Over COVID, there are people who have make money, made money. There's this guy, the owner of Zoom. You know him? When Zoom started, people are laughing. How can you do virtual meetings? When COVID came, I am told their subscriptions. At, in one day, they had a million subscriptions. As of, at Optiven, we pay 60000 to have a more featured Zoom. We do our meetings there, our prayers there, our everything there on a Zoom. My own mentorship, Georgia Washington School of Mentorship, we pay for the Zoom to mentor people online. Today, the wealth of the owner of the Zoom, the figures you cannot fit in that calculator. Na yu nasema kuna COVID, mina kanyi mbani, we, ata shamba siendi. Bananas cannot fail to grow because of COVID. Go plant bananas. Plant mangoes. Work online. We kido wamekua ni kama sasa viwete. Everything. Hey, Joji mwana. Hey. Unajua siku hizi. Hii ni fifth wave. We kido wameibatiza from third to fifth. Do you know you can die of fear? You can die of fear. Never say die. I am making the way in the wilderness. And the, and the pastor quoted my, my favorite verse, Deuteronomy 8.18. It is God who gives us ability and power to create wealth. And I'll share with you five things that God has given you. That if you practice these five things, I can guarantee you, you will join the class of 5%. You know who are 5%? They say 5% of the global population controls the world. 95% they are controlled. We refuse, the women of Sitam Woodley, we refuse to be controlled. Say, yes, I'm going to join the 5% of the people who control the world. Nairobi today, all the buildings you see, after his is a Sitam. The entire buildings you see in the city of Nairobi, they are owned by 20% of the people. 80% they are renting. Hey, guy. I hate renting. Yeah, I remember when I finished school, I, I, I come from Kieni, and Kieni is a dry place. And when I was in, in, in year four, fourth year, Luakabeta campus, I panicked. I knew, George, now <laughs> you have finished school, you are going back to where? To Kieni. I said, no, I can't go back to Kieni. No way. Nikaenda Pangani. Looking for a small house. I got a toilet. A toilet, a big toilet. You know, matajiri wakona show kubwa. Ilikuwa show ya tajiri. Nikasema, hii toilet can be my room. I asked the rich man, how much, how much are you renting? Akasema, 2,000. I was so happy because 2,000, even if I hook anything, including ties, I can't pay 2,000. Nikakombua hapo. I stay there, not my alone. I picked my seven friends kwa hiyo show. Tunakaa kwa hiyo show. Wekini wanala shini ya kitanda? Mimi diyo mwenye nyumba, dala juu. Minu kwa kitanda juu. Wala wamekuja kwa hibadet. And I'm sure some of them are watching me. You know what I'm talking about. This is a reality. So renting is not easy. When I was in that small house, I said, George, one day, me, one day, God help me. I'll have my own house. Sayota, huna kitu, huna kazi, huna nini, huna pesa. By God's grace, I got a job. 
Nikaenda kule Lodwa kako marafiki kama. I was in charge of logistics. Salary was 18,000. Kai 18 was a lot of money. Hey. Na mimi someone told me a secret. If you want to succeed in your career, make your boss shine. So every time I do something, I update my boss. So I got favor with the boss. I was promoted 45,000 a month. Hallelujah. Nikajua sasa mama yangu atajua George amepata nini? Kazi. I was dreaming how to build a house for my mother. I lost her last year. God rest her soul at age 80. But my mother was staying like a queen. Amen. Nyumba, mutu ya kazi, fence. You know, I did everything for that woman. Because I had lost my father in 1978. So, I met her with a lot of challenges. I, nikarela kufanya kazi. I kept making my boss shine. I got another promotion. 90,000. Oh, nikapiga makofi. Thank you Jesus. Where do I do? What do I do with 90,000 a month? A boy from Kieni. Ha! An idea came. George remember Pangani. Next time because we are coming on a short notice. I keep Nairobi. I walk to Kamalok. There were some some houses being sold by Kenya Building Society. I picked my friend Kodo Chig, maybe he's watching. Kasa mwa George, wewe ni wazimu. Are you okay in the head? How do you go through Mutindwa? E traffic ya Mutindwa. Unaenda Komorok phase 4. Kununua nyumba hata by the way they were a bit abandoned. The house was 1.9 million. Mimi from Pagadi. Nimeona nyumba ya 3 rooms. <laughs> I was dancing. 3 <laughs> <Three> rooms. <laughs> na ni Masonet iko na gorofa juu. Nikakibia he chef. Haya, nataka mortgage. Anasema lete barua ya employer. Lete 6 months bank statement. But the employer he can yangusha because I was working on the contract. <laughs> hey, nikasema the power of networks. Mm. I went to the HR, kama bia, please just change this contract because I've been here for three years now. At the next end akuwa hapa. Weka tu annual contract renewable. Weka tu hapo jina renewable. That's why I got my mortgage. Wow. Today that house I'm, I'm longer there. I am somewhere else. <laughs> Say hallelujah. <laughs> That house I get a, rent, a rental of 40,000 a month. Mm. I bought it at 1.9 uh, 3 years I was able to pay up the mortgage because let me tell people who are watching me and yourself never fear debt. Hata kwa Biblia kuna mtu alisema hewa madeni. Na yeye kaenda kufunga mtu na uzi. Alikuwa na deni yake. Mungu tu akafungwa akafungwa na uzi. The master akasoma akabua yule mtu alisema deni amefunga mwingine alikuwa na deni. Wa Kristo nasema mimi want to die debt free. Where? Even China, US they have debts. You know that day I told my pastor, man, go to Equity Bank, borrow money, let's build a big cathedral. Borrow money. We borrow now we are finishing. So don't say I don't I fear debt. No. People who fear debt they die poor. Our own government they are borrowing. In fact they want to borrow more. And I tell them, maybe who is watching, borrow more. We shall work hard and pay. These women are going to open businesses and pay those debts. Where do you get money? Where do you get the express super highway if you don't borrow? Where do you get Kenno super highway duo college? E pesa atuna. We look for 7 billion do the duo open up Meru county open up Nyeri county. Me am a supporter of borrowing. And up even we borrow. At the next week I'm borrowing. How do you create 300,000 homes by George Washuri savings? Mm, eh, hey, na hatuna generation of wealth kama Wahindi. You know Wahindi they save from the 10th generation. Mm. But time unazaliwa iko ki, ki pesa kubwa kwa bank. Sisi unazaliwa Kenya hakuna kitu. <laughs> My mother had no bank account. <laughs> And that's what we are talking about. Destined for the next level. Sometimes I hear people say George Kitengela is far. Mimi namuuliza far from where? People are coming from Netherlands to buy Kitengela. This place here. 30 years ago it was far. Up here it was far. So if you are, want to invest please go to Ata Lodwa. Buy a property in Lodwa. Kilifi. Muzungu anakuja hapa Kenya ku invest. And then wako tu hapa sita mudli. George bwana. Winners Gardens Makoyo. Wako ni 
na huendi uko na gari unatembea na gari ngoja wa kristo tushanuke let me tell you this country i belong to many associations people are making money even now as we talk and i'll teach you five capabilities god has given you that you can really make it number one, god has given you thinking capacity hiyo kishwa that head is not for decoration that head is not taking it to salon that head is supposed to think as you think pick your notebook and a pen write it down you can only think early in the morning in the evening you are tired your husband nataka maneno huna time ya kufikiria jioni watoto wanalia rise up in the morning pray after prayer read a book read a bible after that look for a thinking seat sit there and think generate those crazy ideas that's how people make money and wa kristo tusiogope pesa tukiwa na pesa the kingdom is better the tithe are better isn't it you have thinking capacity this thinking capacity if you are in business how do you talk to people they say people don't buy products people buy people in our village there were two women with the shops there's one shop i hated to go there another shop i was always going there mama boko eh anakuwa kitu wa mama boko the way she will talk to you eh george bwana eh leo uko sawa unaelewa namna gani masomo namna gani relationship are you in a venture but you are your talk to your customers is not a prick it's not good the way you talk to customers in fact they, they say you are money minded that's why for us at top we say we don't work for money we work to empower people the thinking capacity and you can use thinking capacity in three ways number one idea generation that thinking generate ideas they say a research was done in the university in the us and they said your head your mind has got capacity to produce between 500 and 700 ideas in a day good ideas why should you copy others eh are you in business why should you copy others i'm sure you are aware there are two companies in this country one company copy the other the other one is innovative and i happened to meet this his their ceo before he died and, he, and asked him how comes this green company you are so successful You are making 63 billion he told me three things if you want to be successful three things he told me young man three things number one partnerships number two innovation number three giving hey! that was a game changer in fact i went back to the office i said from today henceforth 5% of optimum money goes to foundation that's why today our foundation over covid we have been supporting 300 families every month we have given the biggest number of wheelchairs to the physically challenged This year alone we have educated over 500 paid fees few weeks ago to over 500 orphans in this country every county mention your county we are there i got a secret giving giving to the community and also giving to god of course giving to god now you unlock doors that's a secret of optive we don't joke with tithe we tithe mimi nakuwa na study ngoda i don't negotiate give don't audit nikina sema hey george bwana eh nimepatia pastor amenunua gari it's not your job to audit leave it to god we umeshafanya yako partnerships identify good partners you can work with idea generation capacity to think by observation eh hey, wanadada tutembee na ukitembea usiende na simu unakanyakanya tu na uko dubai hapana tembea dubai agaria the airport eh hey, learn something when you're in the plane learn something Listen to those videos. One time I listened to a video and it was saying, "Welcome to Dubai. Where are you thrive?" In a desert. Can you imagine? In a desert. "Welcome to Dubai. Where are you thrive?" Man, I thought it was a joke. The time I went to that city, nikasema mimi, mimi Nairobi zirudi. Lakini napenda Nairobi, nilirudi. "Welcome to Dubai, the place where are you thrive." Label your businesses. Welcome to Optiven where you thrive. And that's what we told our, our people here. We, we don't call them employees, they are partners. Welcome to Optiven where you thrive. We even tell them what are your goals? I want to buy a car. Which one? This no, which make? 
When are you building your own house? At up to the majority, wakona nyuba zao, wakona magari. When they succeed, we are happy because our job is to empower them. The power of the thinking capacity by observation. Reading. Hey. I know you are reading Bible, yes. Reading other books. Look for the books that can inspire you. Read only a chapter a day. You shall be able to rejuvenate your power of thinking. Number two. Relationship capacity. God has given you relationship capacity. Yani ulafiki na watu wengine. Building networks. Let me ask you. Do you have five people that when you are temporarily out of cash, I must use the good words because I'm in the church. When you are temporarily out of cash, not broke, we can't get broke. <laughs> do you have five people? That you say, if I call Pastor Jane and I want 10,000, building networks, do you pay money when you borrow? <laughs> do you say thank you when you get that money? Relationship capacity. I remember one time, I, you know, when I, I, we were building Optiven, I really wanted 70,000 to boost my business. My books were not good. In fact, I had no books. But I remember, there's this lady, we were together in Wakabete. Sahi ni mkubwa kwa bank. Kasema, sasa, nita mutafuta. Building relationship. Nika mabia, hey, nata hatu kunuria coffee. That time, my life was very challenging. In fact, I remember I had just lost 5 million through a rat transaction. And that was my 10 year savings. So life was tough. The leads were dry. My office was actually at Uhuru Park. I had no office. I was chased away from the office at Gilfield. I had no office. Yet, I'm telling the lady, a senior lady, I want to buy you coffee. I tell you, I have a coffee. So I was careful where to take her for coffee. To, take the long, to cut the long story short, I met her. That's how I got the first 70,000. And that was good money. Someone told me, when you borrow pay, I paid. I went back, 200,000. I paid. Went back, half a million, I paid. Went back, 20 million, I paid. Went back. The miracles continued up to today. We are still friends. Do you have five friends that you can count on? That's an assignment. Answer it while at home. Very many people have networks. They have no networks. And they say, networks... Network is net worth. No people. Relationship. Build up relationship. Our own families. There are families that they are so nice out there. <laughs> but in the house, in our Greek we say dogomoki. Dogomoki was a certain smoke. If you stepped on it, the whole day out of honor. Are you building up those relationships? How do you put them up? Using pest. Please excuse me. Sorry, thank you. The other day I was doing some counseling to a couple. Who you muse? He cannot say sorry. Neither thank you. Ata kipewa ide shakula ime pripeiwa na lettuce. There are some fruits there put on the side. And a banana on this side. The guy will eat a paka machozi na toka vida na skia mzuri. Lakini he cannot say thank you. Na skia kama mshapa kiboko. He cannot really build up a relationship. Your child goes to school doing so well. You cannot tell them, thank you. You have done well. You know, I do motivation on my children. The two boys and one girl. And I remember one day, my boy had terrible handwriting. But I know it's after me. My handwriting is not good. You can see it. It's not the best. So I see it. Now, how do I influence this young man to have a better handwriting? So, Every evening, I get a homework. Hey, now i Alex. Hey, hey. Hey, this handwriting. This one is good. In fact, this one is like for Uru Kenyatta. He goes back to school. The following day, you know, there is some improvement. Hey, within three months, the boy was awarded by a real group of schools as the boy with the best handwriting. Amen. The power of positive affirmation. 
And you have to start it with yourself. When you wake up in the morning, say, hey, hey, Mimi, whoo, Mimi, I'm the, the, most, the prettiest lady in this city. Mm-hmm. The following day, you say, I'm the prettiest in East Africa. Mm-hmm. The third day, I'm the most beautiful in Africa. Hallelujah. The fifth day, I'm the best in the world. Amen. B-I-W, best in the world. Because you don't believe in yourself. Who will believe in you? Lazima mm-hmm. ujiamini. Mm-hmm. That time I lost money. Every morning, nilioka kakio kwangu. Nasema, good morning, George, yes. The billionaire in the making. Yeah, you are a billionaire. So I eat a 50 yakuna. I'll walk to town. Positive affirmation. Relationship building. Number three. How are you destined for the next level? Number three. God has given you risk-taking capability or capacity to take risks. They say people who make it in life, they take risks. Even us, we have made risks, we have lost money. Nobody has never lost money. You know, people come to me, hey, you know I lost money through real estate. Even me, I lost. If you don't take risk, how will you get returns? The higher the risk, the more the returns. But of course, take calculated risks. Look at this guy called His Excellency Mwaiki Paki. May God give him many years to see this country. This guy took risk to develop Vision 2030. So here, Mahatma Nasema Taika Barabara, Kuna Shantis. But you're wondering, he, my bypass, how? What we mejega uko ameja? And Nasema uko kibera kutakuwa na mabarabara. Is this guy dreaming? But he took risk. He knew people would riot. People would oppose it. Today, the development you see in Kenya is because somebody took a risk. Amen. Amen. Are you there? You are fearing to take a risk. You don't want to do anything. Yeah. You want to be good. You want to look good. My friend, if you look good, <laughs> I can tell you, the pocket will be empty. The Chinese will be having bigger pocket. I see people complain about these Chinese. Go and study. It's a case study. Me, I study them, how they work. Because silver will not come by sitting down. Sitting in your house, waiting for your business to expand. For us during COVID, we hired a hundred more people mm. over COVID. See, dear Paul, we hired a hundred more people over COVID. Why? The world is not stopping. The world is moving. You must have ability to take risk. When I lost money, I had said I would never do real estate. But when I was praying, God told me, man, George, go back to real estate. I had no money. Nikanza kama broker ya mashamba. Yeah. Nikuwa nikizuguka huku. Who is selling land? One time I sold land in Kalen. My commission was 2.1 million. The owner was very friendly when I was marketing. <laughs> when he picked the money, nikaona amebadilisha kama ka million. I used to call him. He was answering my call. Hey, George, how are you? Any potential client? I'll be a no. I'm taking a client today. When the money entered in his account, because I was looking for my 2.1 million. The time he picked, he told me, young man, that's Greek. His land he was. I'll give you 100,000. I panicked. Because remember, I was telling my wife, how this 2.1, we are going to really, really be wealthy. I went home dejected, rejected, with a headache, I could pray. The prayers were not going. That's why I like my pastor. I call him just pastor. Pray for me. I'm depressed. I thought it was a joke. I told him, okay, fine. Give me the 100,000. So I got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. That time you had dreams. They were crushed. But I just prayed to God, God, help me. The time I'll get money. If an agent comes to Optimen, we shall pay them. That's why for us, we pay agents promptly. We buy a property, we ensure the agent is covered. But you have to take risk. So I went back to the same staff. After agency, I was really frustrated. I bought my first property in Kitengela. By God's grace, we subdivided. I told God, now this is your project. I remember going to Round City in uh, to my house. <laughs> and I called my friends. My friend, who are maskini, who are only to people who came. <laughs> my, my messenger, <laughs> who was cleaning the office, <laughs> myself and my wife. 
<laughs> we, we had bought balloons to launch the project. <laughs> hey, where was Mateso? The balloons were there. And, but he said, we are three people. When I look at three people, I see 30. I see 300. Look at them to Padua in Balloon. Boom, boom, boom. Open Gardens is officially launched. Took a good cake to get a new band. Never joke with faith. That property, I sold an idea to a bank. They said, send us an email. We can allow our staff to buy. We sold it in two months. Amen. Two months. Launching was frustration. Niki Shetani alikuwa hapo. Selling two months. And things were happening. Are you there? Maybe this idea that you have, you don't, nobody is supporting it. By the way, when you are beginning, not many people will support you. Maybe the pastor will support you. Yeah. But not many people will support you. In fact, this business, even George tried it. It failed. Yeah. Don't do it. But if you are convinced, you can take that risk. Do it. Least taking capacity. Number four, the energy capacity. This one, I love it. Everybody here can stand on your own feet. Your hands can move. You know, we support a lot of people with disabilities. People with cerebral palsy. One time I saw a, a boy in Mulanga, the career machosi. And how he got this disease. Where, where you can wake up in the morning, come to sit up. Now, Naria. Mimi ke kuwa headmaster, ni ke shapa watu miboko. For them to utilize the energy, capacity. You are able to make things move. That's why for me, I don't give beggars who walk. This is a kupatia, 50 bob. I might give the ones on wheelchair, those one I'll give. Lakini we uku kijana tu, ata umenyo anywele. Na unu kona kamukebe. Please don't give them. Tell them, go and work. Ikiya kwa mjengo, fanya kazi. The energy capacity. This morning I was dropping my boy to school. And I saw this young man with a bucket. Full of madazis. Na kibuyu ya chai. Anauzia watu. Nikasema, wow. Look at this boy. He's utilizing his energy capacity. When I was going back, the bucket was half. Madazi imekuliwa. Pesa imeigia kwa mfuko. Are you there online? You are just doing nothing, waiting for that job. You have energy. You can do it. Go out there and do it. Finally, decision making capacity. You are a product of the decisions that you make. The choices that you make. Decisions capacity. You must make decisions. There are people who never make decisions. Never. They can't make any decision. There are people who can't plan for their day. There are people who have businesses, they have refused to formalize their businesses. There are people who have money, who make attack to manage their money well. You know, a friend of mine was earning a million a month. I hope I hope, I hope online. Sita A million a month. She was working for an NGO. You know, NGO now, hakuna donor amekuwa na fatigue. Pesa ikakatwa. Kabua sasa. And wapi? Nyumbani. And I was asking her, how many years have you earned a million a month? Akasema, for the last seven years. What have you done with a million a month? Akasema, Georgia, I regret. I have nothing to show. This car, I cannot fuel now. My children, they were in very good schools, international school. I have nothing to show. Today is the third year, Haja Patakazi. The lady had no insurance. Can you imagine? No savings, no shares, no stocks, no property, zero. Thank God the mother had bought a, a plot in Siokemau. Sasa najifisha hapo na watoto na mze. How many times do we, uh, we are making money, we don't save. There's a formula I give people. 70, 10, 10, 10. And go try it. It works. It has worked for me. The money you make, whether it's 10,000, 50,000, one million. The money you make, use this formula. 70, 10, 10, 10. 10%. Give to God. 
tithe. Because it will open doors for you. It will, it will open up golden doors for you. Another 10% invest. Yeah, 10% invest. Buy stocks. Save in a, in a circle. Come to Optiven. Buy Happy Gardens or Victory Gardens. Jega Boma Pale. Kiki Umana. Ukona Kwako. Uripi Rent. 10% other investments. Yeah. 70% Nunua Gushi. Nunua designer clothes that you want. 70% Niyako ya kutumia. 70, 10, 10, 10. The two tens that you are saving is 20%. It can even sort your insurance. Because I ask all of you, if you are here, you are driving. You know your car is insured. Eh? Now, where? Are you insured? Please go and buy. I know you're insured in heaven. Go and buy a personal accident cover. The other day, my brother in law got an accident. Luckily, he was insured. The money he was paid at Aikulam Pakafe. Yet, that insurance was not very really expensive. 17000 a month. Right now, he cannot walk. But the money he was paid. I know you're insured in heaven, but also be insured on earth. Ukienda, let the people who are here enjoy. They are, what wakienda, unakuta watoto on maskini, spouse in maskini, get that personal accident cover. Are there people here selling insurance? Just stand. Simama, simama. This should be your friends. Simama. Simama, if you are selling insurance. Sema tu jina yako. Ushau tu jina yako. Now, which uh, insurance you are working for? This is a time to, to, to be visible. Hey, market yourself. Go. Fantastic. I didn't masharia. This should be your friend. If I were you, you get some mpaka number. Okay, next. That's how you market. Fantastic. I see here, I'm your customer there. I insure there. Thank you. My kids are there. Mimi, but to wangu wata shule ni mesharipa. The other day, Jubilee paid me half a million for a policy I was paying 10 years ago. Can you imagine? Yes? I see a lion. So, mamu miona, hii watu yako, wakona solution. And these things are not expensive. You can get a peer with 5K. Can you imagine? 5,000. Decision making capacity. Your own children. What if you pesa kidogo kidogo ya shule? You are getting older. This thing can sort you out. Your savings in kwa sako. Save in a sako. How many people are in a sako here? How many people are in a sako? Hey, this church is beautiful. Ah, yeah, I like it. Tujipigie tu makofi. Wow. Iyo inaitua wisdom. Decision making capacity. That's how you expand. I'm told I have 20 minutes now. How do you step to new levels and achieve it? Next level possibilities. How do you step to new levels? This one I'll talk from my own experience. How do you step to new levels? Number one, start small. Start now and think biggest. You start small, start now, and think biggest. Where George Buana? Where, 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 where? Who do you mean, Mini Muse? Muse Wapi. Colonel Sunday, you know Colonel Sunday? He started his business where you eat a uh, kuku, Yamafuta, Sinwajua, KFC. At age what? Age what? 60 something. Pastor Jane says. Now, when I say my Mezeka, Wapi, where is Mustiana? Yeah. Mami, how is Mezeka? Who wears your Mze? Where when you Mustiana? The Pharaoh started at over 60. <coughs> Today, he has over 20,000 stores worldwide. Ukienda tu kule hapa pala KFC, unaona tu kipisha ya mutu. Why, hiyo mutu? Uyo mutu ni inspiration. Siyo kipisha tu imeekwa hapo, anaitwa Kono Sunday. He was, he had bought a rope to commit suicide. Because a little pension, he had a few, a few dollars. I think in Kenya, sharing it was 60 bob. Aka yangaria. Aka sama mimi inada kujiwa. Lakini before ajiwa kandika, are there things I've not done? Are there things I can do so well? Aka sama, I can, naeza uza chips. Na chicken. Kwa mirango ya watu. Alikuwa kitebea tu kwa mirango ya watu. Wewe, utakula kuku. Hei, hiko hapa kuku. 
anakuzia kuku. Ana tabia utakula chips mami, unanua chips. Later it graduated to be the biggest stores. Can you imagine? That's what we are talking about. You are not old. You start small and start now and think biggest. Thinking is for free. Nobody will charge you to think. Calling your names, your self names is free. Kutoka leo jiite tu mom billionaire. Nobody will punish you. Yeah, I'm the mom who is a billionaire. I fellowship with the system. Yeah. Mm. Nobody will punish you. Yeah. Call yourself names. Mimi najiita majina. George was surely philanthropist. <laughs> yeah, other. Paka dika dika vitabu ni hiyo jina ingie. Other. Jiita majina, jipatize. Yeah. Mwingine anajiita kwa Facebook. Catherine Mudogo. Ah, yeah. Change it. Catherine mkubwa. Some of the names that we have. Mwingine anaitwa in our language Mudheni. Mudheni means a poor man. Mimi na change hiyo jina. Mimi na jita kitonga. You know what it actually means? Somebody with many coats. In the community, ukuwa na buzi nyingi wewe ni tajiri. Mimi kasema hapana. Siwezi to assure na kuwa maskini. Change your names. Those Facebook names. Change them. Call yourself I'm the biggest investor in the city of Nairobi. Na huna kitu hata nyumba huna hata ile nyumba yangu ya upagani huna. But it will come. Start small, start now, think biggest. Number two. You must have a vision. Hey, Habakkuk 2:2. Write your vision on tablets that every person can see it. Kasangi. Iandike. What's your vision? To be based at in social economic transformation. Here you go my bedroom. Whatever I do, I don't do business to make money. I do business to empower other people. As we empower them, the money is a byproduct. To economically empower, economic and socially empower the communities. That's why I can see the foundation man is here. Let me say hi. Wow, Vincent Kenala, he's doing a good job. The other day he went to where? Kapenguria? Loi Tok Tok? Now he's visiting schools to give candidates who don't have a geometrical sets. Geometrical sets. I think he has done over 15 schools. Yeah. Himself is an orphan. So he has a passion to support orphans. And he worked for the foundation with Anne. Thank you, Vincent. Start small, start now, think biggest. Number two, have your vision. Habakkuk 2.2, Ian D.K. What's your vision? To be pay setters in social economic transformation. That's vision for Optiven. Do you have a personal vision? Uh-huh. I, see, I hear yes. Do you have a personal vision? How many people have got personal visions? Hey, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten percent work on a personal vision. When you go home, write it. When you pursue a vision, it will come to pass. It may tally, the Bible says, it may tally, but it will come to pass. Can I tell you a story? When I was a young man, initially I wanted to be a Catholic priest when I was growing up. I was an altar boy for five years. I was traveling from my village to Muiga Parish on foot. Five kilometers going, five kilometers coming back. And if you are late five minutes, you will pass Father Mesha Enda. So I always desired to become a Catholic priest. But when I went to campus the second week, I got born again. So your vision, Nikafanya Nini? Ikaena Namna Hio. But even that time when I was in the university, now I discovered, George, now you can't be obsidei. Mesha Okoka, Mutu Kiyokoka Naoa. Me, I feared girls a lot. And you are taught in the Catholic Catholicism, you are taught, never do these things before you are married. But when I was in the fourth year, I had no girlfriend at all, zero. I was busy shaving people. My house was a library to raise money. I was washing people's clothes to raise my fees, the university. But when Mwake Aina Ilifika, George Vuanauna Mutu, Namiaka Imesonga, Nikabia mugu sasa, nite maono. 
Nikashukua kwa kitabu nikaandika the qualities of a leader I want. Nikaandika plump. Msinishekere. Nikaandika sio mrefu sana, si nikonga konge. Nikaandika sio mdomo mdomo sana, mtu ako na quietness kidogo because mimi ni mtu ya mdomo. Nikaandika 15 things. Do you know today if you see my wife exactly the things I dreamt about this oizo exactly the things I wrote for 20 years we have never fought with my wife 20 I say 20 we do things together today she is a she is a, one of the directors at Optiven she's a general manager the money management I think she's the best in this country the way she manages money that's why you don't hear, fear, hear people of Optiven and refer to Imesharewa. Imeshara pangwa. Siyo mimi. Mimi siju yesabu. Ni huyu. Why? I had a vision, a goal that I wrote down. Do you have a vision for your children? Is it written? Do you study them? You know, the other day I was telling my firstborn, hey, wewe utakuwa entrepreneur. Kazema, no, daddy, no. Mi am not an entrepreneur. Yeah, in fact, I won't do a business course. Me, I'm doing mechanical engineering. Akifunga, anata kwa magaraj, kufunga migu ya gari. Nikasema, that is his vision. I can only support it. So don't be, be a push vision, your vision to your child. Taka uwe daktari. Na wewe ulipata D. Kwa shule. Wewe, pea na hiyo, nini? Rizos rip. Rizos you got at form four. D minus. Unapia mtoto afaji. Akue nini? Wewe, wewe, study them what they want. Tell their fathers. Their fathers are the worst. Wanataka mtoto wafanya udaktari, wakiri, na ye hakuweza. Ye hakuweza. Akoji kama George. Kazi yake tu ni marketing uko. Let them follow their vision. But also reinforce those vision. Have a vision. Number four. How do you go to your level? Next level. How are you destined to the next level? How do you step there and achieve those possibilities? Number three. Offer solutions. Hey, in Missouri, offer solutions. Offer solutions. When COVID came, we were the most hit in terms of business. I remember we closed our office at Absa Plaza and people went home. The following day, we went to Karen. We ran a restaurant in Karen called Eagle Peak Spa. We went there, we closed the restaurant. People went home. I also went home. And you can imagine what was happening on my mind. For the first time, I had a headache. Remember, they went home, you pay salaries. And they're not few people. We are about 400 employees or partners. They need salaries. The third day, we went to the Hub Karen. We, have, we ran a restaurant there called the Panarotis. We sell the best pizzas in East Africa. Wood, no, a waterfront, the waterfront, sorry, the waterfront. The wood fired pizza. To Kafunga. Hey, the people went home. <laughs> Remember, Kafunga, Ukona expenses, see, Ukona rent. Hey, the fourth day, that was not enough. We went to Kitengela. We ran a, an oasis of family transformation, an entertainment center for families called GMC Place Kitengela. We took a funga. <laughs> People went home. I also went home. Hey, goja kisho yume. Hey, kase ma hii kitu inawa COVID. Inakana mna gani? Ni kama giant. Na siyoni. Kabia mugu nionyesha hii kitu ni nini. I couldn't see it. I was only reading about it. The third, the fifth day, ni kasema, George Buana, no. Offer a solution. An idea came about this Zoom thing. I started programs for inspiring these guys. Akina like Vincent. Now I'm here, hey, God is able. We are overcoming. This thing is coming and it's ending. Don't lose hope. Kwa Zoom. Now I encourage. Tukanza kufufuka. An idea came also. Encourage customers. We told them, don't come to the office. Come to the site. Come to a man reach the place of peace. Kuja hapo. In fact, we are giving you an opportunity to walk around. A marriage is very beautiful. It's a, one of the most beautiful projects I've ever seen. To me, panda miti, kuna solar, kuna nini, kuna fountain. It's called a fountain of peace. There's a war of peace, war of wisdom, war of knowledge. Kuja tebeza jami. Now Kenya started coming to where? A marriage kutembea. Because wame shoka kwa nyumba. Silika kwa nyumba tukashoka. Paka migu inauma. We give them a space to come and walk. Including walking their dogs. As they walk, we also told them, you can pay in two years. Ayo, kasama, Georgi, buwana. Are you serious? Two years? Yes. Ayo. Nipe kakitu. Na tukawabia, six months, no interest. You know, for us, we charge interest. You give your own installments. Goja, tuwanza kuuza. Tukawabia, kitengera Victory Gardens. Tumeka mpaka 
miti, matunda, nini. Kujeni mutembe. Wakaza kutembea. An idea came. Can you sell green spaces? After that, you all told all our people. Now you can work from home. Why? We were offering a solution. Now ask yourself, did you close your business? Can you rethink on how to offer this solution? And at least we grovel. Unaza kuperekea watu nini? Greens. Those who are selling uh, greens. Matunda. Offer a solution. Put it online like they told us. I can guarantee you, people are looking for solutions. When there are problems, when you offer a solution, you make money. This is the lady I really love. Professor Mogenda, you know him? Yes. Professor Mogenda discovered Central Kenya people are dying like flies. Not because of COVID, because of drinking. Vijana tumepoteza vijana wengi, Central Kenya. Nakasema, mukikufa, silazimu wete moshari. Professor Akaeka moshari wapi? KU. Sahi, ata sahi naongea. People are queuing on that moshari. Because whether you like it or not, si tutaenda. Utaeko wapi? Hapo. Hai, mwingine akaona umash. Akaweka yake hapo. Si kwa nini wanakuja Central Kenya sana? Muende Western pia. <laughs> Ama Mombasa. Why? These guys are offering what? Solutions. Are you offering a solution? Those who are in education. Did you close your school? Do you know we, we, we were paying online classes where my children are? 17,000 a month online. Na mtu watu ni kwa tu kwa kamera. Kwa kamera tu. Eh, hey, naona my, my daughter kiosha vyombo. Anafunzo kuosha vyombo kwa kamera. Una unalipa. Offer a solution. Monday will just follow. You'll be going to your next level. Those who are doing fashion. You know. I look at the Facebook. People make money. My own wife buys clothes from social media. Anaona tu ananionyesha. Hii unaionaje? Are you there you have a shop? Na huko online. Unasema hapana, mimi sitaki Facebook ni ya watoto. No. Facebook has money. Do you have WhatsApp group where you market your stuff? Let's be serious. Let's be practical. How many people are on business? How many people are on business? Father, I pray for these wonderful people. May, they, may you expand their businesses to become the biggest employers in this country. May your business expand beyond measure. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You are going to succeed. You are going to expand. And those who are in career, your careers are not going to be terminated. Amen. You shall keep shining like a star in that organization. Where they are retrenching people, you won't be retrenched. Because you offer solutions. Now, finally, dominate your area of talents and business and career. Dominate without any regrets. Dominate, dominate, dominate your area of talents. Your area of ability. Dominate. Make yourself visible. They say visibility brings credibility. Credibility brings profitability. Whatever you are doing, whether you are in career, dominate there. Let people know when mom is here, things happen. Those who are leading organizations, when you enter these offices, don't be too serious. Say good morning to people. Don't be a leader who cannot be accessed. Make yourself available for your people. That's how you dominate. Leadership is about influence. Dominate. Innovate. You can't dominate if you are not innovative. Right now at Optiv, we are talking about going green. All our projects, we are not, not doing power. We are not doing green power. All our buildings, we are doing bigger windows, going green. Innovate. Innovate. Do partnership. Give, give, give. Go out there. Look for foundation like Optiv Foundation. Donate there. And by the way, these things we even teach to our people. The other day, I have one of the marketers. I'm sure Sophie Bolido and uh, Chris Jow knows. She was really struggling to sell. One day, I came to the office and said, George, how comes you sell so easily? Me, I'm struggling to sell. Yet, I have needs. I said, this month, the commission you get, sponsor one child. And don't sponsor a child you know. Look for a child in West Pokot. A child in Trukana. In East Pokot, support. She picked a child from East Pokot. I came to the fees, 15,000. 15, that month alone, she sold four properties. Hey, she came to the office. Hey, George Buana. Hey, Mimi Sasa, Mungu wa Why? 
I give. Nikamwambia next month the man the commission you are making take another child. Akashukua shout from Garissa. Today as we talk when we rate our converters she is always among the top 20. Amen. Go try it. When you give don't give your relatives. It's mandatory to give relatives by the way. When you give relatives that's not giving. It's your responsibility to support your family. Get somebody you do not know. Give. Give them. Support them. Lift them up. Amen. When you lift them up, God is looking for hands that give. Hallelujah. Your business will prosper. That's a secret for Optiven. Today, Optiven, we cannot complain. Can you imagine hiring of a COVID? Can you imagine? The secret is giving. I don't want to talk about giving to God because that's automatic for Christians. That's automatic. And you don't give. If you don't give to your tithe, your offerings, you need to be tested whether you're okay. You could be sick. <laughs> yeah. Giving to church is no, it's no, it's obvious. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to be preached to at Upeane. No. And for us, we as a family, we do the same. Right now we are doing our church. The other day we said, what can we do to our church we feel pain? What can we, yani umepea na wazikia uchungu. We did it. Hata tuja mariza kulipa, bado tunalipa. But the miracles that happened within Optiven, only Kasangi and uh, Vincent knows. Right now we are acquiring three more properties. Big properties. We just, maybe have seen one called Winners Gardens in Keno Makuyu. A hundred acres, lead soil. You can imagine the price. God can really deliver miracles to you. But you must know the secret is giving. If Bob Koribo knew, George now is telling you, go try it. If it doesn't work, call me back. I can give you a guarantee. It works. I'm told George now, sit down. I cannot sit down without telling you some killers of your destiny. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So that you avoid them. Mm. Killers of your destiny. When you were created, we were born. We were born to dominate to prosper, to succeed, and nobody should bring you down that your family you don't have to succeed. That your family you cannot make it. There are some killers that you must be aware of. One of the killers is fear. Woga too. Fear. Yeah. Fear of rejection. Fear of other people's opinion. People must talk about you. Can you imagine? Someone like Deputy Luto, His Excellency, Dr. Luto, if he checks his Facebook, out of one comment, <laughs> ten are bad ones. <laughs> Someone like his excellence, Uhuru Kenyatta. People must talk about you. Amen. And when people talk about you, just know you are higher than them. Amen. Yeah. Amen. When people talk about you negatively, you are dominating. Amen. You are making an effect in the society. Mm -hmm. An impact in the society. Mm -hmm. So my sister, people must talk about you. Unamuona vile sikuizi ya komurembo. Wee, situ ya nakula nini? Uko juu yao, wako hapa. Wee uko, you're on top. Fear of rejection. Fear of other people's opinion. Fear of failure. Person I have failed over 15 times. You try this business, collapses. I was doing water packaging, went down. Car hire, my three cars were stolen. I was seeing some in the TV. Kwa imebeba bangi, imeshikwa na polisi. Nini kashikwa, nikaye kwa ndani. You know, 15 businesses I did, I failed. Optiven is the 16th one. So if I feared, the 400 partners or employees, wakakuwa na kazi. Fear is a killer of your destiny. Some people only fear death. Hey, me naona sita invest. Me naona kama, nasikia kama mimi ntakufa too. Haka wana doto za kukufa. Anaona watu wakizikwa. Shindwe kabisa. Yeah. You are not going to die. Yeah. Be like Hezekiah. Alisema mimi mungu. Ile kazi ni mefanya ni yogeza 15 years. Na haka ungezwa. Mina mbanga every morning. Nasema God. Give me 90 plus. Ukinita hapo 91, 92. Hata hiyo miya sitaki. Nitakuwa ni mesomesha watoto wengi Kenya. Nitakuwa ni mekuwa na impact. Now I can go to be with Abraham. Na nipewe kazi pinguni. Mini getaka kazi ya asha ringuko pinguni. 
Napea tu watu maji mkikuja na wapea maji. That's how you kill the fear. Another killer of destiny. The killer of your next level. Number two. Poor relationships. Yeah. Yani wewe, wewe una ulafiki na mtu. Yeah, poor relationship. You go to market your business at a card huna. You are here in Sita, people don't know what you do. Can you imagine? This is a big market. People don't know. Your pastor doesn't know what you do. Mukuchie tu unaka testimony na kabahasha. That's how you tap these things. Unamwambia Pastor James, nimeongeza mshahara. Najua I'll tie but hii hii tu hii. Ukiomba unikubu. Unikubuke. Hata kukubuka. Na najua servants of God wakiomba Mungu anaona. Lakini hata ukiongeza kwa mshahara nobody knows. Yeah. Yaani kuna mtu anajua ni siri yako. Mimi hii ni siri ya ni kama ile ya Safaricom. This is my password. <laughs> oh my goodness. Relationship. Poor relationship. <laughs> For the parents. Hauna relationship na watoto. You have never taken them hata to Panalotis wa kule pizza. Ni nyumbani tu. Ni TV tu. Pick them up. Have a walk with them. If you are married, chukua hata mzee. Mwende mkakule pizza pale the waterfront. Hata mjionee maendeleo how people are investing. Enjoy that lake. Mnaanza kuona lake. Yeah. Go to the hub, one the greening behind the hub. Enjoy it, relationships. And those who are married the couples. When was the last time? Mbazo kaikuwa nikawauliza. The last time you took your spouse for coffee at Serena. Ama unaona yaga tu Serena wakati UDM wanaongea. Yeah. When they talk about BBI, you don't know what it was, Elena. Ini kahawa ni yetu kukanyanga. Kanyanga, Elena. Kanyanga, Radisson. Kanyanga. Kwa ni nakanyanga wana nani? Yeah. Even if you have no much money, it is a, it is a dawa. Mukuna dawa, eh. Let the dawa. And then you sip slowly. Don't be in a hurry. Yeah. You sip until the evening. Unasikia shure hapa na kuna frogs huko Serena That's how you unajijaza ingia Radisson hapa state house nasikia huru na kunywa kaka kaa hapo jioni naweza kutana naye hapo akiwa peke yake ingia hapo Radisson useme today with my family tunakula dinner wapi Hai ukisikia giri saba dinner unasema hii hey, hey. hii ni plot optiven hii <laughs> hii ni installment ya optiven no optiven iko na pesa yake hiyo ni yako ya kujivijali especially sisi wa Kristo yani tunajinyonga sana kwa laha how many of you plan for their family trips hata usiende dubai kama george enda mombasa yeah enda mombasa ingia hiyo mahoteli ndio prideen na ununue simu costume hata kwa hujui kuswim uniende tu pale shallow head hapo yeah mkiwa na your spouse hapo najua watoto wameshasoma shule how to swim hapo pride ni unaingia hapo Mombasa hata kuna bridge imejengwa and as it the cleanest beaches in the world Kanyanga hapo can i challenge you this can only come if you are able to kill destiny killers relationships with your employer <laughs> you know the other day we were we know i was doing a praise to my people and you can tell people with a poor relationship they score low people with a right relationship they score high and they get more promotions another killer for destiny for your next level is jealousy jealousy to weave to hey unasikia mtoto ya pasa amepita eh na wangu wako walipata ngapi sijui jealousy Learn to appreciate people, to congratulate people. Learn to say thank you to people. Learn to celebrate people. When you celebrate people, you will be celebrated. Amen. When other children are graduating, go for those graduation. I can guarantee you, you as will also graduate. Na atapata good cause. If you're not doing so good, pray for them. Get them a mentor. You know, there's a, a, a boy a mentor. Akona cerebral palsy. Na ito asimu maybe is watching. The other day he told me, George, I want to register my tech company. Mm. Na haongei, 
Hizo mekana namna hii na hatembei. Lakini hata laptop ana type akiwa side. But the boy is sharp. I did our online fundraising. We raised money enough for the company and for doing the business. Mm-hmm. When I do mentorship, I do mentorship every Friday from 7 to 8. People log in all from all over the world. The other day we were talking about building the culture of delivering results. I talked about Simu on the platform. The jobs he has, he cannot handle. Developing websites. Who you move to at Hatembei? How gay? I can't cerebral palsy. But how he's able to do it? Why? Nae ukiwa na kitu, Simu will celebrate you. Every event we have done at Optiven, he is there to celebrate us. People with the jealousy compete with others. That's how we say at Optiven, you don't compete. And we say there are only two real estate companies in Kenya, Optiven and others. <laughs> If you come to Optiven, unasema unajua so and so anafanya, anambia hapana, only two companies, Optiven and others. So we don't compete. That's why we do our things differently. Are you there? You have a shop. You are competing with your neighbor. No. Okay, na wateja vizuri. Shukua na bazao za simu. In the evening, wabie, thank you for visiting my shop. I really value you. Hey, they feel nice. Massage your customers. Amen. When you massage them, they will bring you more customers. Amen. 2015, you were awarded the best company in customer service. I stopped even. Award yourself. Say, I'm going to manage my people well. Kill us of your next level. Short vision. Oh my goodness. God help us. Hakuna maono. <laughs> You have no vision of your family, no vision for your career, no vision for yourself. Short vision. Finally, inability to use best. Inability to use please excuse me, sorry, thank you. Men who are watching us, practice this best at home. You find your relationship improve, you'll find children loving you, you'll find your spouse coming to you. Use best. Ladies, when you do something to your friend, are you able to say sorry? Ama hey toki. I like uh, I like uh, Nigerians. Nigerians they can easily hurt you and say sorry. And you continue. Mukenya can hurt you na nakaa nayo 30 years. We can change that. Can we change that? Let's now practice i muui our vision. Let's practice to to use best. Kasaki tell me you must sit down. So Pastor Jane, next time I come, I'll talk about how to do how to achieve new levels. Today I won't talk about it. The time is over. And then I'll tell you what next. But before I sit, I must share with you the five Ps of your next level. The five Ps of your next level. The five Ps of your next level. I would explain. P number one, prayers. Every time you wake up in the morning, thank God. Evening, thank God. Tuwe kama waislamu. Five times in a day. Sisi wa Kristo, ukiopa saa hii utaopa kesho. Hey, unajua tumekuwa kanisa leo sita moodly. The whole morning. <sighs> Tumeomba mpaka malaika imashuka. Muislamu anaomba mara ngapi? Mumeona the economy. Have you seen Saudi Arabia economy? Have you seen Dubai economy? <laughs> wewe at optiven is mandatory to pray when you hire people we tell you every morning vincent tazima maombi wednesday prayer and fasting mandatory we pray for our customers pray for ourselves right now we have a program for praying for people with covid na nakwambia we have not lost a single customer on covid tunawatoa kwa vitanda na maombi through zoom wednesdays prayer works It has worked for Optiven, can work for you. P number two, purpose. You must know you are why. Why do you exist? You don't exist to eat ugali, to eat mudokoi. You don't exist just to eat. There is a reason why God created you. Mami, there is a reason. P number four, number three, passion. What can you do for free? What can you do without struggle? That's passion. What can you do for free? Pin number four, patience. Patience, patience. 
Be like a farmer. A farmer plants a seed. The farmer waits for the rain to come or they irrigate. The seed germinate. The farmer tills the land until the harvest. Patience. Nothing comes easy. Those who are watching us online, when you see George Washuri here, buy a book. Read George Washuri's story. At one time, for five days, we were eating leaves. There was no food, 1984. No food, zero food. Thank God to His Excellency, the former President Moy. Aditupatiya White, White Maze. The story is here. You read this book, if you don't cry, that's why we're at Hitra. This book. And this book, you can read it in two hours. You cry, you be inspired, you learn stuff. You say, if God did it for this fellow called George Washuri, he can do it for you. Amen. Being brought out of poverty, wearing clothes that are torn, unaonyesha birthday suit kunyuma. Now the fellow is here, supporting others. Vincent, so you have copies. The money that comes from this book is a thousand shillings. I don't eat a cent. The money goes to the foundation to support other people. Those who are in business, we have shared our secrets of success, Optiven. No reference from Europe, neither Western countries, what we do at Optiven. How you value people, how you fire people, attitudes, vision, how to start small and build an empire. 1,500, we don't sell a book, we sell the secrets. People who have read this book, their businesses are expanding. Doesn't matter the size of business. Whether you are Mama Boga, you are selling Samaki, Mandazi, your Mandazi can be a factory. He's a boga. You can now add value to those boga. And you become big like Twiga Foods. You know Twiga Foods? Lead his story also. 1,500. So Vincent, I must sit down. P number five, PMA. Positive mental attitude. <laughs> PMA. Positive mental attitude. Our negativity is killing us. Our negativity is making us develop ulcers. negative. You must learn how to smile with your eyes. You must have learned how to pump yourself every other day. Me ni after this morning. I make a declaration. Today is a good day. Today I'm going to empower Sitam Woodley and these people are going to pick stuff. When I'm traveling, I say today I'm traveling but I'm not getting an accident. No. Amen. Every day I enter the car, naomba hapo. Nabe, wewe, igali, wewe, usikoge mutu. Yeah. Positive mental attitude. That's not to change hapa. We fail because our mental attitude is not right. You may struggle today, doesn't tomorrow you are going to struggle. You may be having challenges today. I had my own challenges. Today is different. Positive mental Attitude. Pastor Jane, let me sit down. But I want to encourage you. Go out there, dominate without no apologies. Oh, no man's apologies. God bless you. Yeah. I'm sure there are some questions. Yes, I can take questions. Go ahead. Okay, I think we only have one question. Eh? Uh, someone is asking, what online jobs are available for someone with no laptop but still wants to make something as they are home with the kids. And then she adds legitimate jobs. Wow. And then what business can one start with 10,000 shillings? Wow. What businesses are online with somebody with no tool for trade? Yani, kuna kazigani, mutu atakuwa mkulima, nahana jembe, a phone is like an office. That smartphone can earn you money. You can look for organizations out there. Say, I am an online influencer. <laughs> you can be an influencer as long as you have a thousand plus people. Because a thousand people, if you market to them, opening properties, they buy, you earn commission, you make your money. Nowadays, there are so many organizations out there, including Optiven, looking for people to market online, and they say you do an agreement. Every time I market a manage, hmm, a project, and I get a customer who can pay five million, 
how much commission are you paying me? We have an app that people log in. Shabam Kononi. Every time bring a referral, you don't even to market. Bring a referral. The referral pays. You earn 50,000. 50. Net of taxes. Higher. Sell for a manage. 200. With your smartphone. You don't even need a laptop. That's a legit police business. You see, a manage is expensive. Victory Gardens Kitengela. The photos are online. www.optivin.co.ke. Say, hey, George, I want to market this stuff. Ukiona tu lead. Lead means somebody who is interested. Una forward kwa Vincent, ama kwa Kasangi, ama kwa Sophie Borilo, ama kwa Chris Jau. Iki close. 40,000 inaingia. Huja toka kwa nyumba. Yeah, 40,000 inaingia. Uku na relative, anataka kuseto in uh, Victory Gardens or Garden of Joy Machakus. Where we have done uh, solar, trees planting, people are building, Garden of Joy. Sema, hey, niko na relative hapa, anatafuta mahali. George, which project do you recommend? I will send you, or Chris will send you all the information. Share the information, you don't need to market. That referral, when the referral buys, for example, Garden of Joy, we are selling at 1.495, 20K in a year. The legit business. I don't know how many of you have seen uh, this lady called uh, Siokao, Marketing Optivin. She's making money. Have you seen Jalas, Marketing Optivin? Anategeneza mula. Sema mula. Na hakuji Optivin. Your network is your Talk to Chris. Chris, be number. Shout to your number. There's these people make money. Anybody, an attacker property, either Kiambu, Kitengela, Nyeri, Nanyuki, uh, Thika Road, <laughs> you know, Machakus, Pea Hio, Kijana, Ako Honest. Optiven, one of the cover is honesty. Hata Sema Hata Nunua, Hata Kwambia Menunua, Sasa Pesako Dio E. Easy, we are doing it. Sophie, shout your number. Some people want to hear you. 07. Two zero zero seven two zero two five six one zero three. Sophie Borilo. Wow, Asante. So those who are online, you can easily make your money. That's one of the examples. There are other companies out there. They are looking for people to tweet. Yani ku tweet too. You know how to tweet? Eh? Ama ku retweet. Una retweet. In our facility in GMC, and if you are there, you are listening, every three months, we look, we, we look for high pass. <laughs> eh? Mami pass, I'm scared you high pass. At the moment, hype. Just to hype. Can you imagine? Just to hype. We pay you 8,000 a month. Kazi yako tu, Mutoto wakizui mutu pisha imesha kuwa share the content. Unali share. Unaeka kwa Facebook. Ata, ata hakuna target ni hiyo tu. There are so many things to do online. There are other people. I have a friend I mentor. Ye, yeah, kwanza ni mjaja sana. Ameka pisha ya muzungu. Eh. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Then it's Sunday. Na pisha ni nini? Ni ya muzungu. Expert in proposal writing. Proposal what? Writing. He says the number of proposals he does in a month. Sasa me hire two more people. Ako kwa LinkedIn, ako Facebook, ako Twitter. Na yeye ile kizungu ni ile kizungu ya jaluo. Kizungu mzuri. Sia ya kikuyu ya kwetu kieni. How are you? Not that one. Kizungu mzuri. Are you there? You have that talent. At a degree umefanya. Go online. Do something. The lady showed us. The lady who was here. Yeah, I got class. Na na ani pesa. Hawe tu ka hapo wewe. We tu ka hapo. Utaria mepega ako. Any other question, mami? Yes. Um, I have uh, quite a number. Maybe I'll take three first. Um, what is the one thing that has kept you uh, moving in life? And then the other one is how to move a business 
without your husband's consent, where there is no <laughs> agreement, yet your ideal is gr yet your idea is great, and your partner <coughs> always shuts it down. Wah, Pastor Jane, remember the years us. Yeah, and what? then the, maybe a third one would be, how can I increase my sales? Wow. How, what has kept George Washuri going? I would say faith in God. Sometimes challenges come. People take you to court. Umeka, ulisema, utaweka a solar seat lighting. Instead of putting 250, we make 180 watts. We wanted 250 watts. Challenges come, but always we have an anchor. Faith in God. When things are difficult, pray. And God always comes in. Number two, what gets me going is delegating most of my work to people who are better than me. These guys you see here, this Vincent you see here, he's far much better than me in the foundation work with his boss uh, Anyaga. People like Chris and Sophie Bolido, they can sell better than me. Hire people that are better than you. Hire accountants that are so good. I think our accountant is the best of the best. People can do cash flows. Then you relax. You delegate. Working with the people. Value people. Humble yourself. Don't make yourself know it all. The other one was, how do you start a business now your spouse yeah. does not approve? Every time, anakuleta wapi? Yeah, dream killer. Your next level killer. This is a secret. Start bonding. Start taking that muse out. Take a two coffee, pale Selena. Ikiwa Selena ni kubwa, Radisson. Ikiwa ni kubwa sana, Java. Ukile mwana Java, Panalotis. And the time when I'm there, because I can talk to that mze, I like mental research men. Yeah. Tell them there to join George Washuri School of Mentorship. It's available online. I've done now, th uh, I'm not doing cohort two. We are graduating in, uh, in uh, July. And you can log in on George Washuri YouTube. I, re I have really changed a lot of men's mindset in terms of supporting their spouses. And once the man believes that your money is not only your money, it's family money. You are able to plan your money together. They will be able to support your idea. But the thing is, involve him in the brainstorming session. Don't say I have an idea I want to implement. At, at a resist. Yeah, at a resist. We don't have a movement that to resist. Resist. Yeah. Involve them from the word go. Have many ideas. Now that idea, don't do it in the bedroom. You are inviting trouble. Do it in an open area, in a hotel, in a retreat when Muse is happy. It is possible and doable. Don't compete because when you compete, Mutanza Kuletea Pastor Marino have a separation. We don't want people to separate because of business. But involve them from the word go. Even me, when I have new ideas, I involve my wife. I can't just go to Muranga, to Makoyu, and I'll be, hey, I'm going shamba, hey, shamba, to leave a deposit. I will take you for a road trip. Yeah. Hey, Mary, to a road trip. I don't know what to do. I don't to Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. We have to go on a time. Go to one. To Kiona, I am selling my agenda. So I asked the sister there, sell your agenda in the proper way. I hope you remember this idea. The third one was? Um, okay. Uh, the third one was somebody asking how they can increase their, oh, their sales. sales. Yes. Wow, I won't answer because of time. I will give free mentorship to that person. Join George Washuri School of Mentorship. There's a topic on how to increase your sales. There's also a video I've done on George Washuri YouTube on how to Increase your sale 10 times. So, George, you are YouTube, and you can find that because of time. I have an amazing strategies on how to increase your sales. You can also listen to Brian Tracy, excellent trainer in terms of selling. Am I done now? 
Okay, just two Just more. Two I more. have quite a number, but I'll pick only two. One mm -hmm. is asking, kindly talk to us who earn less than 15,000. Is there any hope for us? Uh, that is one. And then the second one um, that I would pick is uh, what other avenues uh, one can save, uh, save in other than circle and money market funds? Wow, somebody earning 15,000. What can they do with 15,000? I will give you my own example. My first job was 3,000 with Inyaga and Associate. 3,000 shillings a month. The fact that you are earning 15,000 today does not mean tomorrow you're going to earn 15,000. But how do you go the journey from 15 to 30, 30 to 60? Easy. Do what I call self-development. Develop yourself. If you're in career, you only have done CPA one. Fanya two, three, four, five, six. Develop yourself. If you're working in an organization, shine in that organization so that the next pro uh, promotion, you're going 30. However, if you're earning 15, it doesn't hurt if you only save miatano, miaine. Little build a mountain. So savings does not matter whether you're earning 10,000 or 15,000. Where do you invest other than shares and stock? Come to Optiven. We give you property on installments. You can invest there. You can also do shamas. I like ladies for shamas. And these shamas are doing crazy things. There's one shama in the US called uh, Kenans. The other day they bought 50 plus from Optiven. 50. Now they are building. There's another shama called Wanaishi in Diaspora. So you join those uh, shamas. You can be able to save and invest. I think I have to stop there, mom. I can say your time is far much gone. And uh, if you want more information, I am the most available man online. Follow my Facebook, George Washiori Facebook. Washiori is W-A-C-H-I-U-R-I. You get very motivational videos. Myself and NTV, we do weekly videos for motivation, one minute motivation. You can find them on George Washiori YouTube or you can get my blog. My blog was won an award last year, George Washiori blog. Many articles, what business can you start with 1,000? It's there. What business can you start with 10,000? It's there. Thank you, ma'am. God bless you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.